what is up guys this is Gosu here from Serene Arts and guess what today we are doing this right here in Pizzle Lab so without wasting much time let's just jump into it straight forward okay so the first thing that we need to do is we delay this test and after that we tap on a plus sign at the top here then we go to from gallery and we pick the image that we want to use okay and I'm going to leave this image in the description so that you can also go ahead and download it as well so I'll just increase the size of the image a little bit and leave it here like this okay this is this is okay for me so I'm just going to lock the layer at the top and after that I'll make a duplicate of it so I'll tap on copy and I'll hide the duplicate it's as simple as that now the next thing for me to do is to go ahead and bring in my dripping effect so I'll go to the plus sign again go to from gallery and pick the dripping effect I downloaded from the internet now what I have to do is to remove the white part of it so I'll tap on erase color and this is how it's going to be so right right after doing this I'll go back to color and give it one color all right so I may choose to go with white like this so having done it like this the next thing to do is to make sure that I resize it to fit perfectly to the body of my subject so this is what I'm doing currently just to make sure that I get a perfect one here So you just have to take your time and resize this to fit your subject perfectly before you proceed with any other thing you want to do awesome I've gotten exactly what I wanted so I'll leave it like this on the work okay on my subject I'll leave it like this now the next thing for me to do is to go ahead and select my subject so I'll tap on a layer icon at the top here that select the subject which is the last layer after selecting it I'll go to the masking tool so I'll tap on mask and all I have to do is to make sure that I cut my subject off like this the down part that's all that I have to do right now so I'll just have to cut the subject off like this and we are good to go so what I have to do next is to tap on a check mark and have it like this now once I have it like this the next thing for me to do is to match my subject together with the dripping effect so I'll tap here select the subject and a dripping effect and tap on emerging icon then tap on ok now I have them as one thing what I have to do is to give them one color so I'll tap on color and give it white preferably just like this this is ok now the next thing that I probably have to do is to insert a shape so I'll tap on shapes like this change the color of the shape to maybe black or any other color then increase the size to fit your working space perfectly like this then you push it to the back just like this okay I hope we are following this tutorial carefully okay so once you've done this the next thing for you to do is to merge the black shape you inserted with the dripping effects all right so you are going to match the down and the top one like this once you are done merging them just go ahead and erase color awesome so you just have to make sure that everything is perfect over here okay now you can you can even go ahead and change the color of your work at this point you can change it to be red like this or you can even change it back to be white the way you want it to be you can change it back like this if you want it like this all right 
so what you have to do right after this one is to bring in the subject the one that you've hidden first now let me tell you one thing that you need to know all right no matter the color that you are going to use for your shape okay the shape that we just changed to white i think let me just go back to it let me let me select it let me yeah select it so that you get to know exactly what i'm referring to i mean this particular shape okay we change it to white now you can use any other color all right but the color that you are going to use make sure it is not in the subject that you are going to use so let's quickly have a look at our subjects that we are going to use here now the subject is mostly full of black let me hide this layer it's full of black all right so we are going to use let me say red okay we are going to use red for the layer at the top here this one so let me use pure red for it just like this okay now i can reposition it back to the middle like this and go to the layers panel then lock it after that i'll enable the subject at the background now this is what i have to do i just have to position the subject perfectly at the middle okay so watch this carefully awesome this is this is awesome so right after doing this you just have to go ahead and change the background color to black preferably okay change it to black preferably and you are good to go so what i will do now is to match these two layers i can decide to match them and i can also just decide to save the work like this without merging them so let's say I'm going to save it like this without merging the two layers. Okay, so I'm going to select Ultra and click on Save to Gallery. Awesome, image has been saved successfully. Now I'll just go ahead and lock all these layers and hide them. And after that, I'll change the color of my background to, let's say, this gradient here like this, okay? and what i have to do now is to go to the plus icon then select from gallery and bring in the image we just saved okay the image we just saved i'll just have to bring in like this once i bring it in what i have to do now is to go to erase color okay and i'll use the color picker to pick the red aspect then tap on a check mark like this that means i have removed the red portion so this is what i'll be having right here and you can decide to play with the tolerance and see how best it will fit you okay so basically that is it you can put it here like this and go to shapes go to circle and decide to play with it a bit so you, you move the opacity to zero increase the stroke to your preference and increase the blurness of the stroke okay you can decide to use any color for the stroke i thought you can use white or any other color at all you want to use okay so you have it like this you can decide to send it to the back of the picture just like this okay you can decide to do it like this anyhow at all you want to use it it is as simple as this so i'm going to leave the resource that i've used in this tutorial i'm going to leave them in the description so that you can also go ahead and download them and use them just like i did over here so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and i hope to see you in the next one bless up